today's look is going to be this kind of green and red, corally kind of a look. I was bored, had the day off, so I decided to sit around and just play with some makeup, and this is what happened. So if you guys like it, you like know how I did it, keep on watching. My Bare Steady Paint Pot from MAC, which is just a shimmery kind of um, primer for your eye. The next step I'm doing, I'm taking Beauty from the Earth's color in 1939, which is this green. Let me see if I can focus. This green with all that beautiful reflect in it. I'm taking whatever's in the cap with a little bit of a mixing medium, just using eye drops. I'm gonna kind of swirl it in the cap to make a paste. And then I'm taking this color and I'm gonna pop it right on the center of my lid. I'm not gonna go up too far, I'm gonna stay right about right here. And now I'm just gonna smooth it out. Now I'm just taking like a little detailing brush with um, Beauty From The Earth's color in Grassy. Just like a matte, bright green. I'm applying this color right next to that 1939. On the edges and around, I'm gonna kind of blend out the 1939 color with this bright matte green. Going all on top of it, on the sides. I'm gonna kind of blend out the 1939 color with it. Taking like a short dome brush with that same grassy color. And now I'm just gonna go put this in my crease. I'm gonna put this pretty up pretty high. I'm gonna bring it to about right here. And just softly blend all these edges. Alright, and as you can tell, I kind of lost a little bit of that 1939 color in the blending process. So just whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to tap and re-highlight. I want to keep this part of the lid with that 1939 so you just see like a little part and then you see like the grassy color. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to fix that a little bit later. I'm taking a skin tone color. I'm using this one. It's broken. On just the brush, I'm going to apply this to my, high, my um, brow bone and then just blend down that those greens. Taking just a little bit of a matte white eyeshadow. Place it over top of that skin tone color. Right. Going back in with that detailing brush that I, you know, it's a two-sided brush and I'm gonna be using this little, little tiny like script brush side. I'm taking Beauty from the Earth's color in Mermaid which is yellow, looks kind of creamy yellow, but it has a lot of green undertones to it. And this, with a little tiny brush, is gonna go right here. Now I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit with that grassy color again. So that's that interesting fade from shimmery, matte, shimmery, matte. Just like that. Then I'm also taking a little bit of that mermaid color I'm gonna place it right on my brow bone. Just a light dusting of it. Just to give it a little bit of an added kind of shimmer effect up there, just a little bit. I'm gonna do underneath my eye before I start doing my crease because my crease and my under eye kind of meet. So I'm taking um, an Urban Decay 24 7 pencil in Corrupt, just like a brown. On my lower lash line. And then with an angled brush, this is a Medusa makeup one. I'm gonna be taking Dragon from Beauty From Here. This is a really pretty color. It's like a brown with lots of green and gold reflex in it. And this is just gonna be right next to that yellowy color. And onto the about half my lid, my under eye. Alright, now I'm taking a big fluffy brush with like a coral color. Like that. I think this is a blush that came in some kind of palette, but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this color and go right underneath and on the bottom of um, that dragon color from Beauty from the Earth. Then I'm taking the same color and I'm gonna apply it into my crease above these greens. 
I'm not gonna really focus on blending right now. It's just mainly gonna be placing this uh, orange color. Start blending out that orange a bit so it doesn't overpower the look, because this can easily go wrong. Taking a matte brown eyeshadow with my Sonia Kasha blending brush, I'm gonna contour the inner part of my nose like I always do. I'm gonna start working on my crease. What I'm doing is I'm taking a pencil. This is a MAC one. It's called engraved or something like that. I'm gonna kind of cut my crease a little bit. This one doesn't dry as fast as my Milani or um, Urban Decay, so I can move this one out a little bit better. Doesn't have to be neat. So it's dark. And then I'm just taking a pencil brush and I'm gonna blend this out while it still hasn't set yet. And also you do not want that green color right there to go away. So I'm gonna re-highlight that. For more precision, I'm taking an angled brush with Medusa's makeup color in Black Sabbath. It's just a matte black color. I'm gonna start deepening up this crease. I'm gonna start connecting the bottom lash line and start to draw it out. Now, as you can see, it's really messy in the edge. It's too it's a lot more black than that one. I'm taking that orange color again. And we'll go on the top of that black. This is gonna help blend it out and make it a little bit more soft. I'm also gonna take this coral color up to the eyebrow, I think. Yeah. Bring this up to the um, brow bone area. Just softly, not too much. All right, and that's fine for right now. I'm gonna blend that out a little bit later. I wanna move on. Next thing I'm doing, I'm taking um, Beauty From The Earth's Color in Seduction, which is a nice, um, dark purpley with red color. It kind of reminds me of, uh, of Beauty Mark from MAC, but just what Beauty Mark looks like in the pot, not on your eye. So all that like nice, rich, purpley, red glitter and stuff like that are like dual prone to it, it's in it. Just got some wet in the cap. Gonna mix it around with a script brush. And draw a pretty thick line of it as liner on my upper lash line. It's dark, so it almost looks like black, but when the light catches it, you can tell it's not black. Taking that same um, engraved pencil for MAC, I'm gonna fill in my waterline. All right, and then I contoured with my MAC Sculpt and Shape Powder. For my cheeks, I used that same um, coral eyeshadow that I used up here. I used it on my cheeks. I think this is originally a blush, I'm not sure. Um, for my lips, I just lined with NYX's Hot Red Lip Liner. And then I filled them in with MAC's Russian Red Lipstick. I don't know, I think I like Ruby Woo Lipstick from MAC a little bit better. I mean, they're both really pretty vibrant reds. But um, I feel like this one's a little bit more creamy, even though they're both mattes. I feel like this one's a little bit more creamy than um, Ruby Woo. And and I think most people would like that, but for me, I like the drier matte kind of uh, lipsticks because I feel like um, they stay on a little bit better. I don't know. That's my opinion. But I guess that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.